organizing information is a really important skill to have when you are collecting data. And we've been talking a lot lately on data collection versus qualitative and quantitative. Here we have a bunch of quantitative data. This is the animal lifespans of some animals and it's crazy how long some of these things live. But if I was asked a question like what is the oldest living animal or what is the fourth oldest living animal, it would take me a while to read through this paragraph and find the information. So I want to organize this data into a table so that I have a clear, concise, organized way to find what information I have and record it. The first thing I want to talk about is where you place your table. So wherever I put my cursor is where the table is going to go. I want my table to go below the paragraph here. And I also need to figure out how long and wide my table is. Tables come in rows and columns. So let's count up how many animals we have. All right, Asian elephant, bowhead whale, eels, tuatara, even this is taking me forever, horse, clam, Galapagos giant tortoise, I'm at seven, shark, eight, koi fish, nine, macaw, ten. All right, I've got ten animals. I'm going to be making a table of the animal and the lifespan. So I'm going to go to insert, and I'm going to go to table, and I just kind of hover my cursor there, and this allows me to create a table, and I'm just moving my cursor down. It's going to have ten animals two columns, but let's go one longer row. Let's make two by 11. So I have just covered my cursor there. Now I'm going to left click and that will insert my table. The reason I went one longer was because I'm going to have a header up here. So I'm going to put animal and I'm going to put lifespan. I'm going to pay attention to details. These are all lifespan in years. So I'm going to make sure that my reader is aware that it's in years. Right now this is 11 font. Let's highlight this whole table. So I just left clicked. Good thing there's the undo button in Google Docs, right? Highlight it and I'm gonna put it at 14 so that I can see it. All right, so now let's go through and organize this data. And I'm, you have a couple options. You can organize it the way it is, but that's not really organizing, that's just putting data into a table. Or I can organize it into a actual progression. So we can go, the shortest lifespan to longest, or we can go longest to shortest. What would you prefer to do? Too bad, I'm going shortest to longest. You can do whatever you want. All right, so the first animal, we gotta climb through here and figure out this tangled mess. It looks like the horse with the least amount of lifespan, or the animal, is the horse. So let's put the horse in there, and that's 62 years. Also notice in our data, we have words like up to 200 years. We also have lifespans of 100 to 200. So that's going to cause us some issue when we're trying to organize our data. Let's organize according to the very first number that's given. And that way that will give us an accurate picture. So next is the Asian elephant. And they have a lifespan of 86 years. Then we have the macaw, who goes from 80 to 100. So think about that if you uh, are wanting to invest in a pet of a pet macaw. That parrot will be in your house for just about as long as you live. Then we have the tuataras. I don't even know what that is. I have to look it up and figure out what that is. And they go 100 to 200 years. I'm going through we have the bowhead whale. Um, 177 to 245 years. And then um, I'm going to put what's next? Oh, we forgot the eel. So the eel is 150. No problem. We got this. I'm going to highlight this uh, row. I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert a row above. Left click. Now I can put my eel in there. So I don't have to re-erase anything. I can just add or delete rows and columns as I want. So the eel is 150 years. Ooh, eel. Bowhead whale, the Galapagos. Giant tortoise, 190 years. The Greenland shark. Who knew? 
sharks could live up to 200 years. And notice that uh, the koi fish is also up to 200 years, so you can put whichever animal first. I went in alphabetical order, G versus K. Um, you could also argue that shark is not in alphabetical order, but whatever. Um, and who knew that a koi could live up to 200 years? That's crazy. And then we have the most amazing information of all is the Arctica is Landica, a giant clam who lives up to 407 years old. <laughs> I wonder how they know that. Okay, so we have an extra row here because we entered one here, so I'm just going to delete it. So I'm going to highlight this row, my left click, I'm going to right click, and then delete row, left click. And there we go. Look at how nice and neat that looks, right? All of our information, if I want to know the fourth oldest animal in our paragraph, one, two, three, four, boom, done. All right. Have fun creating your table and your assignment.